with you guys got another video here for you in this one we're going to be taking a look at how we can convert the install.esd file to an install.wim file now if you're familiar with um, injecting uh, drivers into the .wim files then you'll understand the reason why we need to uh, convert from esd to .wim it makes it much more user friendly and easier to inject all your stuff your features uh, language packs and all that stuff driver packs into uh, the install.wim file so let's get started anyway so you can see here i've got my windows 10 anniversary update here and it's 3.38 gigabytes in size and if i open this up and go open archive with a uh, 7-zip you'll see inside the sources area this is where we normally find the boot.wim and install.wim now the boot.wim here, you can also make changes to this if you're in a WIMPE uh, sort of um, environment. Again, uh, the install.wim is down here, but it's now called ESD, and this is encrypted uh, file. So it doesn't play well, and you can't add in stuff to this. Uh, but to convert this to a .wim, it's pretty straightforward. And we're going to do that uh, in this video. I'll show you how to do it. So we've also got the install.wim. I've dragged it out into this folder here. Okay, so you just copy it out of there into a folder. So this is our file. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to put this into my C root directory. And the reason why I'm doing that is because it's going to be a lot easier for me to uh, manipulate in the command prompt saves me having to do loads of commands but you can see here we're just going to put this inside here and what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the command prompt so we can close this off and we can close that one down so what we're going to do is go down to the start button right click on it and then go command prompt admin say yes and this will open up your command prompt now yours may be black but this is red in my case because I've made it red. You can change the colors to that. Now, what we need to do here is go to our C root directory. You can see we're in our uh, system32 directory and uh, you can go change directory and dot dot. And you can go back again if you want to. You can have ways of doing it, but I'm just gonna do that. It's quick and simple. Now we've got that there, we need to put in our command to detect our uh, install.esd. And you, this is the command you're going to need, okay? Dism uh, get win info forward slash win info colon install dot esd, and it will detect that file. When I push enter here, you can see that it's uh, found a load of versions. And this is pretty normal uh, for Windows. You can see uh, we've got Windows 10 Pro, Windows 10 Home, Windows 10 Home Single Language, and also. Windows 10 Education. Now you can choose whichever one you want to convert to install.wim. So I'm going to choose uh, the Windows 10 Pro Edition. The next link, uh, the next code you have to type in is this long one here. So you can see the big long code right here. Now you can see that what we're doing is exporting that image, so source image file to install.esd to source index one. So we're using this index one, so we're gonna be converting uh, Windows 10 Pro. So if you wanted to do number two, you would just change that index to number two here, and index three, and so on, okay? And then, of course, destination, image file, install.wim, compress max, and so on, and check uh, integrity. We're gonna push enter, and this will now start to export that image for us it will take a bit of time so be patient it does take a bit of time to convert but uh, just i'll come back when this is completed so while that is converting here let me just quickly show you here i'm going to right click on the start button and go file explorer and this will open up uh, this pc here we're going to go into our c root directory and you can see the install.wim is now being created from the install.esd file so if you do like playing around with uh, the install.wim files and injecting your own stuff in there, then this is essential uh, because these can be a bit of a nightmare to work with. And this is how you can create your own installation uh, CDs with your own stuff in there. 
So I'll just let this continue. Okay, so that's nearly now complete. Now I will put all these commands in the description so you can just copy and paste them like I did there. It makes it a lot easier rather than typing that all out for you. And also, if you're not familiar with the command prompt and you don't want to type all these out or copy and paste them even, there is actually a, a script that you can use and I'll take you to that a bit after we've done this and I'll show you um, someone has created one of those so you can just uh, basically run it and it will do it all for you without even copying and pasting. Uh, but once that's done, you will then be able to uh, slipstream all your drivers into that uh, install.wim file and then you won't have to convert it back. You can actually just drop in your install.wim into that location and remove the ESD one and then create your ISO and that's it, you're good to go. So that's basically how you can do that. Okay, so that operation completed successfully there. So we can now close this off. So we can see the two files here and look at the difference. Uh, the ESD file has been compressed, so you can see the difference in size. It's been compressed down. 2.87 gigabytes. Three point four eight gigabytes. There's a big difference there. So that's probably why they're using the ESD version is because it's compressed and it gives them a bit more space. So let me just quickly show you uh, the other way of doing it as well with uh, that uh, script I found. Okay, so let's quickly take a look at where we can get this script. You can get it from uh, Mark Anderson. This is his website. I'm not sure whether he created this himself or whether he's found it himself and then uploaded it. I don't know. But if he has created it, then kudos to him. Uh, this is the actual uh, link here. You can download it. And uh, basically all that does is it allows you to do it in one fell swoop. You don't have to do anything. I'm going to go into the C root directory here and this is where it is. So you need to put in the install.esd file and there is the actual uh, script. So you've got the script here which is the script that's added in and also the dism file as well. And this is what's added in there for you. All you need to do then is run this as administrator and then click yes to the user account control and then once you get to this stage, you can now put in your path. So you need to locate that file. And that's simple enough. So we just do C colon backslash and then install dot ESD. And the reason why we're doing that, because it's in the C root directory and that's where it is. Once we push enter, that should then turn blue. And then it gives you the detected ESD file and lets you choose what you want to uh, create. So we're going to go for the pro version here. All you need to do is push one and it will then start to export that image for you. It's that simple. And then you just leave this running. Again, it will take some time and I'll quickly show you here uh, exactly what's happening. It's going into our C root directory inside the folder that he's created. You can see it's being created here. Okay. I'm not going to continue with that because it's just the same process, but basically that's how you can create uh, your own install.wim file by converting it from the ESD. Anyway, I hope this one helps you out, guys. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. If you've got any problems with your computers or anything like that, or you just want to join the community, head over to the forums. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page and you use Facebook, then you can always go over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye for now.